welcome to Whiteland Restorations. And the next episode on Ian's uh, Giselle, the GSA. So we are going to get in paint today, and I do believe the man himself is going to come and help mask up. So we'll, we'll see, see how, see that, how goes. that goes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but now we're just going to do the final bits of prep before paint. Yeah, I was um, just finishing off keying around the door handles and such. And I noticed a rather large chip on the front edge of the back door. So I put some stopper in it, and then it was knocked straight out by whatever made a chip. So if you come with me, Should we investigate? I will show you what's going on with this door. So, just up here, you can see, well this is my stopper here. And you can see this. And I thought it was weird at the time because it was shiny still. But I thought, well, just a just a big old weird chip. So I put some stopper in it, and then I carried on working back here. And as I open the door, oh, hold on, you can see contact. It hits that spring before it gets anywhere near its full openness. It's just riding that spring, isn't it? It is riding that spring. So that's what's going on, and that's why we can we'll never be able to. If we paint it, it's just going to knock the paint off. If we put filler in it, it's just going to knock the filler off. So I checked on the other side and this whole mechanism is around the other way so the spring is further inside which makes total sense to me. So I think somebody has either bought the wrong hand side thing and put it on there or they've disassembled that and reassembled it incorrectly. It happens yeah I yeah. mean we're going to try and turn it around aren't we? Yeah so we're going to pull that off and sort that yeah. out uh, because I don't see a point in painting a door if you're going to leave something like that in it. Exactly. No, it's just going to cause more damage and ruin the lovely new exactly. paint. Exactly. So I'll get my socket. Get your socket. Seems like a nice simple removal. Let's hope so. Have you seen any spring mechanism like that before? No. This is. Uh, Typically French. <laughs> because you can French. tell by the way it's coiled up like a snail. Oh, snail springs. Got yeah, you. Yeah. Oh, lovely. There we go. Right, so if that bit here was on that way around, it would still come out. I'm getting so greasy. That would still clear perfectly fine. It's the way it should be. With that, I think that would also still work yeah. if it was that way around. Of course it would, just the way it is so on the other side. Literally that bit has been put on upside down, that's all. Although on the other side of the car, this hooky bit faces forwards, like that. Mm. Maybe somebody has still assembled that bit upside down, but to start with we'll just put that in that the way right around. Way and see if it, and see if if it that works. This is the situation. Oh, it's, um, yeah, because... It that bit's thicker there. Yeah. So it's just resistance for that to go through. So it should work exactly the same that way around. Cool. He's so reinstalled. Put it back on. Yeah, reinstall. Yeah, why not? Why not, eh? Why not? I'm not going to tighten them too much. I need to get inside and do the other two. So before I do the other two, let's just see if it works. Okay, I'm watching. There we go. Right, so the door catch now on the works. Right. And it only opens that far. Which ain't no good. So we're gonna have to investigate. Maybe the door side needs to be flipped as well. Yeah, I think it's um Definitely got to be that thing got to go upside down. Tell you what we'll do. This, this is quite dirty and horrible. We'll take it off, we'll clean it all up. We'll get the car painted. We'll assemble it afterwards. Okie dokie. I mean, um, like a lot of things with classic cars, it's a process of elimination, isn't it? Yeah. Right. So whip it off, clean it up, and we'll reinstall mm. after paint. Yeah. A lot of this stuff is just figuring it out as you go along because I'm not familiar with these cars. Um, no. So you've just got to keep your wits about you, crack on and work it out as you go along, which is quite fun actually because every car presents its own challenges. Okay, so the spring and door strap are clean enough. 
Yeah, they're miles out of the way at the moment. Yeah. So I'm just getting rid of any more of the contamination from the grease that was all over them, really. We do not want any contamination. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Look at that. See? It's look lovely. clean. Not. Not clean. Right, so. Brush. <laughs> right, so. Um, I've got to get rid of this um, stopper from where I stopped it before. So I'm just going to sand that off real quick. Also, give it a fresh key in there. There we go, nice. So I'll mix up a new bit of stopper and then we shall put it in that little groovy groove. Right, stopper. This is stopper, it's basically like filler, but it's much finer and more resistant product for little bits like this that you may have missed. That. So it's, it's good just to put this on and you can paint. Straight over it. Extra smooth filler. It is, it's really nice little stuff. It's <laughs> a bit more expensive than the normal filler, but it is quite nice. No, you don't use it for big jobs, this is only for Tiny, tiny little jobs, isn't it? Yeah. Just a small amount goes a long way. Yeah, I don't need a lot. There you go. That's it. Same with normal filler, really. The more you can smooth it out before it dries, the less sanding you have to do. Yes. So there we go, that's going to fill up that dink on the edge of the door, ready to paint over. Whilst that's drying, I'm going to tackle some of these shiny bits. So I've just got a bit of scotch, a bit of grey scotch, and I'm just lightly going over some of this shiny stuff here. Give it a bit more of a key, make sure the paint sticks proper, because you don't want a tall bit, do you? <laughs> Oh god, no, you don't. E even just brushing it with a jumper would have been more keyed up than that. There we go. Shiny bits are gone. Those shinies are gone. Just a bit of a. It's over there. Little bits in there. But we have lovely smooth panels. Pair fixed. And jobs are good. Then. Yeah, so we can deal with that whenever. So yeah. next major bit to tackle really is masking this rubber bit here. What we're doing now is we're using this regular piece of electrical wire and we're shoving it underneath this lip of rubber just to lift it up. So the paint is going to go underneath the lip a little bit. Yes. Shoot underneath the rubber. Yeah, rather than just stopping there and having a hard masking line or masking up the rubber a little bit and having a little bit oh, of over spray on the rubbers. Yeah. Yum. Yum. So you can see I started it off there. I don't come in. Starting it off is the probably the, the hardest part, so you missed that. <laughs> but getting it going, just get your filler spreader, get it under the rubber if you can. And then maybe with your thumb just Push it in with your thumbnail and slide the spring in there. Yeah. There we go, Lucy, just sliding it along. So the filler spreader is lifting the rubber up a little bit and the wire is going underneath the rubber. Also, make sure you push your wire back further than the lip of the rubber. Oh yeah, you don't Otherwise, want to flush, yeah. You'll, uh, you'll Peel the paint. <laughs> It'll have a paint edge, won't it? <clears throat> also goes to show you don't need expensive fancy tapes with... Yeah, you can buy a tape that yeah. does this. It, it has a... Um, Bead, is it? It has like a hard edge of plastic, two or two bits of plastic at the edge with a, with a foldy bit in the middle. And you tuck the first bit under and you lift it up and tape it on. Amazing stuff until it goes wrong. <laughs> this doesn't seem to go wrong. Tried and tested. Yeah. Shh, we've got Ian and Carly here. They're working on the Citroen. Ian's gone. 
concentrate in very hard. Don't disturb it. You might scare it. No, in all seriousness, the car has jumped forwards quite a lot. And we sorted out this. A little bit of stopper in there. It's all done. So me and Ian are just masking up. This is all of this stuff's going to be on Hubnut's channel. We've got some beautiful precision masking going on. I don't know about precision. I've never seen him concentrate so hard. Yeah. <laughs> I am absolutely terrified of getting this wrong. But no, it's looking really good. It's looking good. The big bit of masking is actually quite simple and quick, isn't it? Yeah. Definitely the intricate little things. Ian showed us how to remove the real light. Yeah, that was very helpful. That's handy, that's gone. Yeah, it's one of the easier things to remove on a Citroen GSA. Right, there we go, we just got to do the wheel and um, moving on to the next stage. Right, Giselle is all masked up, thank you very much Ian. He did most of that, I just stood and watched. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's go with that version of the truth. <laughs> <laughs> now head over to Hubnut's channel and you can see how Ian the ma masking yeah, you can see Ooh. Ian masking it with his own hands. Very impressive. Taking more care than I've ever taken over masking in my entire life. <laughs> Practice makes perfect. We we, we expect to see more precision. I was gonna say I'm gonna have to up my game. <laughs> No, we are going to carry on with the car for you, and um, I suppose the next time we see you is when you come to pick it up. Yeah, looking forward to it. It'll look very different. It will. It'll look really nice. Hopefully, Sharp. it'll look like nothing's been done at all. Mm, that's the hope. Mm. That's the idea, anyway. Yeah, perfect. Right then, guys, thank you very much. Thank you, Carly, for popping over. Thanks, Ian. You're very welcome. We shall see you again next time.
painting looks pretty good. I'm quite happy with it. A couple of bits of dirt to nip out, but we'll do that in the next episode. Um, lastly, I'd like to say a big thank you to Dom at Independent Paint Supplies for supplying the paint for this beauty. And uh, catch you all next time.